Hey y'all, what's that girl Shay? I just came through real quick to encourage you and just remind you to love on you. Uh, and to remind you to ask yourself daily, what do I need from me? It's so easy to slip back into what, some, what we want somebody else to give us and what somebody else ain't doing for us. And a lot of times we put the responsibility on somebody else, you know, to love us and to, to give us what we feel like we need. But at the end of the day, we got to remember that you got to know how to fill your own cup. I talk about in my book that when you starve and you eat anything, when you see people out here where it look like they don't have no standards and it look like they settling for certain situations, you know, a lot of times when you don't know how to feed yourself, you accept crumbs. You will accept crumbs and think it's a full course meal. Because you don't know how to feed you. But when you learn how to feed you, when you learn how to fill your own cup, when you learn how to compliment yourself, when you learn how to how to minister to your, your body, mind, soul, and spirit, you'll never have to depend on another human being to do that for you. So get into the habit daily of saying, what do I need from me? What do I need? Not, not just physically, I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about spiritually. I'm talking about what does my soul need? What does my soul want to do? Do I need rest? Do I need some humor? Do I need some laughter? Do I need some to do something fun? Do I need to get out of this house? Do I need to go to the park and walk around? What what do I need from me? And just know that when thing it's a storm that it's the storm that reveals the strength of the anchor. So when the storm comes, it's going to show you how strong or weak your faith really is. And it's going to show you what you need to work on or what you need to heal. Last week, I was emotional wreck. I was, I was, I was so triggered. I'm talking about like really triggered. Um, and it was a storm that was revealing the strength of my anchor. And it was the triggers that were showing me what I need to continue to work on. That I got to keep doing that healing work. And that I need to trust God more. I need to build strength in my faith and build my faith. That's what it showed me. I don't feel less than. I'm human. And it's just revealing to me what where I need to grow. And to just to love on me. You know, in the process. We've been through trauma. We've been through losses. We've been through disappointments. So... We growing through that. We learning how to overcome that the best way we know how. So when some come up, love on it. If you file and scrape your knee, you're gonna get that alcohol, you're gonna get that nail spore, you're gonna get whatever you, you put on. You're gonna you're gonna nurture that wound. So make sure you nurture your emotional wounds as well. Make sure you're loving on your soul. Don't neglect your spirit and your soul in the process of working on your body. Work on your, your mind, body, soul, and spirit. So anyway, I just want to encourage you and remind you. Don't do that. Don't do that. See how to do <laughs> Don't do that. It made me forget what I was saying. Mm. That's why she gets put out when I'm doing my video. She just so happened to walk in. But, um... I forgot what I was about to say, but be encouraged, and I'll holler at y'all.